morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. Good to be with you today. I hope you're having a really good day. I appreciate you taking a few minutes of your time to, to share it with me. And I have an idea here that uh, I'd like to pass along. It comes from the Psalms. Did you know that there's a story in the Psalms about sailors and ships and waves and storms? Well, there is, <laughs> and I'd like to share it with you. It's from Psalm 107. Seems a little strange. I don't recall reading this in any other places. But Psalm 107, <clears throat> beginning with verse 23, here's what we see. Some went off to sea in ships, plying the trade routes of the world. They, too, observed the Lord's power in action, his impressive works on the deepest seas. He spoke, and the winds rose, stirring up the waves. Their ships were tossed to the heavens and plunged again to the depths. The sailors cringed in terror. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wits' end. <clears throat> Lord, help, they cried in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He calmed the storm to a whisper and stilled the waves. What a blessing was that stillness as he brought them safely into harbor. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Well, that's just an interesting story, I think. I would have expected it in in some other places, but here it is right in the Psalms. And it talks about some people who went off doing their work. It says they, they went off to sea in ships, plying the trade routes of the world. They were simply doing what they normally did. They weren't testing God. They weren't doing something dangerous. They weren't doing something that could result in great harm. They were just doing their daily stuff. In this case, they're sailors. They sail different places and trade. It's important to notice that they were just living life. That's all. But it says that they had observed the Lord's power and his impressive works on the seas. Now, I, I don't know what those impressive works were, but maybe it was the, the animals that they saw, the fish, the birds. Maybe it was the skies. I don't know. It doesn't tell us. But what it does tell us is that in their daily activities, as they were doing what they would normally do, they noticed the wonder and the, the greatness of God. And then it says that as they were going along, a storm came up and they reeled and staggered like drunkards. I, I get the, the image of them going from one side to the other as the ships were going up and down. It says they went to the high points, they went to the depths. And, you get the, the picture of this boat being tossed on the sea, just like a toy. And so what do the soldiers do or the sailors do? It says that they cried out to the Lord and asked for help. And he heard them. They cried out to the Lord for help. And he heard them. Now think about this for a minute. These sailors are not doing anything unusual. They're just living life. And as they go along in life, they observe the goodness and the greatness of God. And then something comes along and scares them immensely says they were frightened. They could not control whatever it was that came along. 
it interrupted their life and they thought they were gonna die. And when they got to that point, they did the one and the only thing really that could have helped them out. They called out to God and he heard them. Now, isn't that what your and my life is like? I mean, we go about doing our daily things. We're not anticipating problems. We're just doing what we do. We're just living life. But then something unexpected comes up. And it shakes us to the core. Now, maybe you haven't had one of these moments. If you haven't, you're going to. <laughs> you're not going to get through life without something. And it's not so much that something comes up, it's what you do when that something comes up. You can fuss, you can scream, you can, you can curse, you can throw things, you can blame others. There are all kinds of responses that you can make. But there's only one response that will help solve the problem. And the sailors make that response. Let me read it to you again. They were at their wits end. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble. And he saved them from their distress. Now I'd like to tell you that if life throws you one of these curves, your solution is right around the corner. But that corner might be kind of big because I can't see the future. Maybe God has to work something in a few other people's lives in order to get the, the solution directly to me. I, I don't know. Maybe God has to do something in my life so that I'll recognize his solution. But the solution will come. That's the good point. And if we will call to the Lord in those moments, when things are really desperate and we call with a, with a real sense of honesty, not just manipulative stuff, but a real sense of humbleness, God, please help me. He will. And he always will. And this little passage ends, it says, let them praise the Lord for his great love and the wonderful things he has done. When the storm is over, let us remember to give God credit for it. Let us remember it was God who actually worked that miracle, not ourselves or someone else. You see, God, is always with us. He's always looking out for us. His great love, it says here, his love is greater than anything you or I can imagine. But we have to reach out to him. He won't force it on us. So I'd like to ask you today, what do you do? Or what have you done? Or what will you do when those great storms suddenly show up? Psalm 107 gives us some good advice. So take a look at your life and see. See how you stack up. Well, thanks for listening. If you have a need or a prayer concern, let us know. We'll do everything we can as fast as we can to help meet your need. So until tomorrow, I wish you God's best. I'll talk to you again.